Welcome back to Inside Politics. We're talking presidential politics, of course, which is days before the November 8th election. We have Bill Phillips on the Republican side and Larry Woods on the Democratic side. Gentlemen, I continue to keep hearing sort of in the background like a whisper, well, you know we might still get real de really close in the electoral vote. Are we going to go really late Tuesday night? Are we going to need that hour of sleep we got extra on Sunday because we may be into Monday morning or longer before we figure out who won this? I think as soon as we know the Eastern Standard Time states, we're going to know what's going to happen on election night because so many of the critically important states are over there, Florida, North Carolina, New Hampshire, Pennsylvania, uh, you know, Ohio, I guess, is split a little bit. Uh, we're, I think if we're really paying attention, I think we'll know by 9, 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And Bill, no possibility that nobody's going to get 270. We're not going to have going into a house situation. It's not going to be that close. No, I, I think that somebody will get 270 plus. Um, and so, but the popular vote could be a surprise. Larry, how important are surrogates in this race? It seems like we've had more coverage of surrogates this election than we've ever had. The Democrats have a lot of surrogates to do that, but do you need to watch where the surrogates go? Are they important? Do they, do they tell us what races or what states are still in play? I think you nailed it there at the end. I don't think the surrogates are important because Mr. <laughs> Trump and Hillary Clinton are so larger than life, but if I'm Hillary or Donald, I'm sending my surrogates to places I can't get to that are important here in the last few days. And so, you know, yeah, tracking their movements will tell you something. And I, I read something this morning that President Obama is campaigning harder than any other outgoing president has in at least recent times. He's the second most popular president maybe in recent years since Ronald Reagan. Larry, what difference does that make? Is this such, is this now become tied up very much with his legacy as president? Well, you know, earlier, several months ago, Mr. Trump was trying to make it a campaign issue. If you vote for her, you'll be giving Obama a third term. They've stopped saying that because Obama's popularity has gotten so high. Uh, I think I think like many great presidents, Bush Sr., uh, you know, he was having economic recession mm -hmm. problems when he left off, so his approvals were down. But since he's been out of office, Carter, Bush, and Obama, the Ray and Reagan, the ratings are going to be huge for all of them. We respect people that tried their best, even when we disagree right. with them. That's part of what's scary about this election. I hope it's going to be true next week. Uh Bill, we, and it's in the other party, but we don't normally see the first ladies being active candidates in somebody else's race, maybe their own husbands, but not their right. own. Michelle Obama, has she become a pretty powerful force for the Democrats in this race? Has she become important for them as a surrogate? She has become a great image uh, for the nation, and particularly women. And she has grown into her position as first lady. Remember, when she started, they complained about that she wore a sleeveless dress. Now they talk about what a great orator she has become. So, you know, you heard it here first. Michelle Obama for president in 2024. <laughs> you, you can't make sure you got the right year. You want to say 2020. Right. Be four years I, had, I had to make sure I had the right year there. Larry, what is the situation for Mrs. Clinton in terms of getting out some of the key votes, key voting groups for her? There have been particular concern that she's not expecting to get anything close to the kind of African-American sport that Ob right. Barack Obama got the last two elections. But it, it appears it may be even softer than that. And therefore, any pollster that's using the turnout in the 2012 or 2008 election, their polls are no good because the black turnout was much higher than it's going to be this time. So offsetting that, the Latina Hispanic turnout's going to be higher, and we're all pretty much assuming that Hillary Clinton's going to benefit from that rather than Trump. Ten years ago, the Republican would have benefited from it. Bill, let me get you to speculate about this. The, the Trump campaign has talked from time to time that they've got a lot of hidden vote out there, a lot of first-time voters that have either not voted much before, maybe never voted at all. Um, now we see this large early vote in Tennessee, particularly in the rural mm -hmm. areas. That would appear to be a Trump vote, but nationwide, is there a hidden Trump vote out there that maybe is not being picked up by the pollster? I suspect there is, uh, and I've talked with a, a person that's running for re-election that's going door-to-door, -door, Republican, and they say they would see a Trump sign, and they'd look and the person wasn't on their list. 
and they figured out those people have not been voting in the past. Now, Larry, you're smiling over there. What do you, what, well, Bill's been very kind to my party. <laughs> what they're also figuring is, hey, this is a Democrat that's going to vote for Trump. <laughs> there are going to be, especially in the white, mm -hmm. non-college graduate, laid-off workers segment of the population, a lot of whom have been Democrats in the past, Trump's going to steal some of those just like Reagan did steal in the sense of, gee, I thought those are my votes. I have heard people well, say across, well, go ahead, Bill. I ran into a hardcore Democrat last night, and she leaned over and says, are we going to be able to win this election? And I just assumed she was talking about Hillary, and then she started talking about Hillary in ways that I wouldn't repeat on TV. Well, thank you. Because you know? <laughs> so, I'm not Donald Trump. So. <laughs> I think what Bill touches on a little bit is is the the real uh, anger and, and angst that's been out in the country and and sort of real yeah. strong disagreement about this particular race. Larry, I've heard a lot of people voted early because they were concerned about what might happen on election day that it might be more difficult to vote, might be more actual things that are happening. Do you, do you think that's overblown? I think that's overblown. I think it's going to be a very typical election day like we always have. Will there be some disputes? Yes. Some disagreements? Yes. Will there be people showing up to vote who aren't registered because they didn't know they had to be registered? Yes. Uh, yeah, all the usual routine problems will be there. I really don't think there's going to be anything unusual happen. Larry Woods, the Democrat, is our guest on Inside Politics, talking presidential politics along with Bill Phillips on the Republican side. Back to continue our conversation after you watch these messages.